<sighs> Alright. Time for a bit more Zelda. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, what's well any button? There is no any button. Okay. Back to Southern Prayer, are there five hearts level two and Oh, okay, they do have autosaves. Multiple autosaves. This is This really does feel like new Zelda despite being old Zelda. Huh. So I think I will take to exploring rather than... Actually, I want to see real quick. Can I burn this? Can I burn this poster? Come on. Sadly, it does not seem like I can burn the wanted poster. That would have been amusing. Okay. Ooh, there's some kind of spider. Peanut is... Definitely my desired combat option. So what is this thing going to be? I'm taking a lot to get rid of. And this is... Doing the crawl to echo. Oh, and you can use that to scale walls. That's right. Spottery monster that does not spin webs, but does walk on walls and ceilings as easily as flat ground. Because I'm wondering whether I want to progress the game as has been suggested to me, or to just see where I can go, because I wonder how ordered the quest is. So if I if I went to Death Mountain now, I'm wondering what would happen. Got the Strantula, the Kraltula, it's both fun options. Hmm. Let's spin webs, you can just use this to get up places, interesting. Okay. I wonder where that'll take me. Got an Octorok here too. Eh. Let me see. Come on. Let's go over. Oh, the rocks are annoying. Okay, well let's just check real quick. Let's get the Octorok. That is, you want the Octorok Echo? Found in and around water, this octopus-like octopus-like creature spits small rocks at its enemies with impressive range. It's gonna be an interesting one to try. Maybe. Oh, and it's going around and just taking them out. Okay. Go ahead, do my job for me. Hmm. But one has definitely been nabbed. Oh, they they can go underwater. That's new. Okay, well I Oh, baby. Come on. Gonna have to use that bed. Oh, more mob ones are coming. That's not good. Come on, get sliced up, get sliced up. I love this pee hat. Another monster thing, and come on, Rupee. Oh, the Rupee's gone. Oops. Okay. Could use that Strandula, I mean the Kraltula. Trying to get up top around here. And now we've got... Very plain we got. <laughs> Our climbing methodology. So I think the world should basically be open to us now. Let's see. Just do it like this and do a reverse bind. Come on. I oh, we didn't do that in time. And fall. Go ahead. Takes a bit of time, but there we go. Open that up. Oh, and yep, it won't open because something's on top. That's fun. Okay, dismiss. Now, what's in here? And that's got 10 portions of rock salt. This clumps of salt crystallize over a long time. You can't use them in their current form. That is, when used in a drink, it restores some of the user's energy. Some of the drinker's energy. Hmm. Yeah. Because I wonder, could, if I went down here, could I get inside? Hmm, much to think about. Gotta climb up there using the spider. Either way, let's put the bed down. No reason to not be at full health, but... That's what it takes. You need to be in a situation where you can actually get some peace of mind. Interesting. Let's try this crawl tour then. Try that one more time. And you're gonna go up. Yep, we can 
Go up here if we feel like it. Yeah, go up again. We get all the way... Wow, we're on the trees. Okay. So this is just our climbing apparatus. Wow. I did not expect it to take me that far. I'll take it. They're sloped enough, too. Interesting. Now that's... That is what I call... Flexible exploration. Mm -hmm. If I went down here... So now I can just climb up and over things. It's kind of like getting glider access in Breath of the Wild, honestly. Hmm, and I would not imagine that fall damage exists in this game. Probably not. Either way, getting the ability to climb freely is very, very nice. Hmm. I guess I could look around a bit of Southern Beach, but the fact that I've just bypassed pretty much everything here by climbing up and over it is amusing, I suppose. I'm not sure I think it's a great <laughs> idea for game design to be able to bypass everything that easily, but it was interesting. It was an amusing idea. Let's stay away from the red rock for now. Hmm. Go around this area. And the trees look interesting there. So we just climbed up and over and around. Anything else here? Or this is where the map ends. So let's. Come on, keep rolling. And yep, it can't climb up that, so. This is where it all ends. That would be really funny if, it was, if I just went straight to the rift. I wonder if that's even an option. That said, I honestly would prefer to do things in some semblance of an order. How about that? And what if we go here? Put this down to get this little bit of the map. I... Oops. Okay. Get on, follow. Here we are. Hmm. Lots of things there. Yep, and oh wow, we've already got this whole bit of the desert. Hmm. I do wonder if some of these rifts are eventually going to have consequences, so to speak. There'll be some things I can get to after removing them. Especially since this is very plainly the location of the original desert palace from Link to the Past. Hmm. Hello. Are those bushes or... That's strange. Come on. I... Huh? You gotta stay like this then. Come on. Fall. Fall. Thank you. Get rid of you. Come on. Hmm, but... It's ruined. I'm not sure I can actually break that bush like that. That's interesting. Come on. Feel like torching it. Just for fun. So I suppose my best option there would be the Ignisol to just set it on fire. If that even... I don't think that works. Okay. Hmm. Let's do a bit more climbing and see where I can get from the forest. But it is rather funny that it is just this easy to climb up and around everything. Let's see if there's anything here. Come on. I... Oh, I did not mean to. Well, it's decently strong. Come on. Take me up. Here we are. Come on. Here we are up top, and... You're going for the Seergens, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. And it can't even take them out. Classic. Uh, so I suppose I'm just going to need to drop some urchins of my own. Just to clear the way. I, that was dumb of me. Alright. Where that. Sure, I'll put a bed back down. Let's see what's right here. 
I think going to the castle town and then there are other settlements. I'd imagine that they probably have some dialogue that I wouldn't be able to get if I immediately progress to the point. Because then they'd get riffs and presumably their dialogue would change a bit. Probably be a bit less lackadaisical than before. Okay. So that's gone. Okay. Oops. So... Climbing up and over here and riding on the forest a bit should work. This Pharon area. I guess it would be fun to explore as much as I could before progressing the storyline. Just to see if and where they stop me. Because I imagine that there would be some issue with abilities that I wouldn't have access to. That said, given how much Bind is doing all the work here. That and having to crawl to lie. I'm not even sure. Okay, come on. Oh, alright. <laughs> Go ahead. Take yourself out. Hmm. And we'll go up here. Okay, so they can break that, which is nice. But climb up and Having to do the whole song and dance with the urchins is rather annoying. Could always teleport, but still. At least it's easy as sending one at the other. This should hopefully be workable now. Come on. Grow up somewhere. Oh goodness. Just drop you in the water. Should be good. And ball you. Back up. We've successfully extricated ourselves from the situation. So what's going to be over here? Not an option, it seems. We can stick around at these trees. Okay. Since you get on the upper level, it's pretty easy to navigate it. You can pretty freely just jump up and around. Hmm. Let's see where I'm able to get to this way. Maybe Faron? This Faron does not seem to have any kind of external access. You definitely have to climb into it. Hmm. Seems to be something behind here. Ah, this back path. That's fun. Go away. We don't need to kill the slimes today. Got another Zol. You know what? Everything is Pihad business. Everything. Until I get something stronger, everything is Pihad business. Come on. There we are, you've been stopped. You can do all my fighting for me. So who else? Got another Zol. I wonder, okay, there's a chest there, but I suppose my question is... How many caves around here? Uh, and of course, also just what's in the chest. Thank you. This is... Oh, purple rupee. Alright, you got 50 rupees. Makes you really happy. I'll say. Hmm. So maybe this is more or less meant to be your hint at the existence of Pharaon. Maybe. Just more in general. Now uh, that this Kraltil is here, I... <laughs> Can't really stop me from doing anything now, can they? It's a little much. I wonder if they can... Can they get on trees? They can go on trees, too. That's what I figure the one limitation might be, and even that is not the case. Mm, oh, Moldorm. Well, that's exciting. Go ahead. Mini Moldorms are probably going to be a rather nice option. Maybe. Throwing some rocks might be good here. Depends. Go on, go on. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I was struggling to lock onto them for a second. Seems that maybe the Pihats will lose a bit of aggression eventually. These are annoying. Come on, come on. 
If I stay up here, they can't hit me. But it seems like the Peahats are a bit reluctant to target them. While I'm still here. No, screw it. Screw it. We'll protect ourselves, too. And then, probably unleash one ourselves. There we are! Okay. This is... You were in the mini Moldworm Echo. That takes... Oh, it only takes two. Skittering through its mountainous home on many legs, this creature's quick and erratic movements confound foes. So honestly, now that we've got four, we can send two down. I think that might be a better option, actually. But they're a bit random, maybe. Honestly, can't fully tell. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And they seem a bit random. Uh, go ahead, stay away. Keep out, keep out. Okay, so those are both mine now. It's a little hard to tell. Hmm. This does seem to be fair on. Okay, there's clearly something up there. Is that a Deku scroll? That might be. Hmm. Okay. Go up. And let's see. What if I whip this? Oh, no, it's ore. Ah. We got a Mike Crystal, Enhancement at Weber's own. Okay, now we have two. It's not crazy crazy, but still nice to have. Hmm. Definitely want to go on top of the trees as much as I can. Just to see. Oh, come on. Immediately bind. Smiths. Thank you. Tear up the grass for easy rupees. It's very nice that this cuts grass. And okay, it's just moblins. I... Too many moldworms is probably a good way. Ooh, enemy encampment. Lovely. They're not... Really... You can't focus them at all. It's annoying. The randomness is... It's a gambler's play. Honestly, maybe I'll just put down two Deku Babas. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. Mm. Maybe I'll just bring the key hat back. It's not entirely an efficient usage of my slots, but if it works, it works. And is this another kind of moblin? Ah, uh, Sword Moblin! Okay, nice. We're in the Sword Moblin Echo. A brutish monster that fights with a sword, it's kind of territorial and forming groups throughout the land. That's gonna be a fun one. Okay. We can put down two of you. They'll be decently aggressive now. Go ahead, trade some hits. Monster Fang. Yeah, I'm confident now. They don't gang up as much as I might like. Just that they glow a bit when they're starting to... Get a bit closer to death. Come on, come on. Oh, baby. You gotta be kidding. And you've been cornered. There we go. Now that monster camp chest has been successfully unlocked, it's presumably just gonna have more replenishing resources that I don't really need, but we'll take it. Hmm. Let's get that sword moblin done. Let's take out another crotchula and get on top there. Thank you. I... No, no. We were facing the wrong way. I... Oops. You're pressing the wrong button. Okay. There we are. Get up top. And there we are. Open that. And it's... Okay, just more grapes. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. So what's farther this way? What is this going to lead to? Either way, we can just... Spider it again. It's so busted. Okay. Eastern Hyrule Field. What is that down there? It's vaguely Triforce esque. Hmm. So. We're down here. Wick Hylia and. Oh, some kind of stamp. Oh? Oh, hey! Oh! Zelda is not happy about this. This is... Oh? Parachuting Stamp Man. Oh, his hair looks like a stamp, too. That's funny. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm the stamp guy. Got a pose. I love stamps since I was a tiny tot and on Hyrule's hugest stamp fan. That you're curious about the stand, the stamp stand. Yep, oh, yep. This is a stamp stand, a stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down to leave a stamp behind. Plunk tackle from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. It's very Japanese. Sounds fun, right? Well, credit a stamp rally. Stamp stands all over high roll. Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, rally excited, I am. Sure. Yeah, you are. Oi. Okay, here's your stamp card. And you got the first stamp card first. The stamp card is for stamp rally beginners. It was handmade by the stamp guy and it looks like it. Huh. Probably they're gonna get higher quality as we go on. I know we're gonna have fun because I have been making it. Now get a stamping like you've never stamped before. Oh, he's posing. Great work, what a stamp. Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. Good hint. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my case. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Huh. Okay, all together now. Ready, set. Go stamp rally. You're still here. I'm to my story. Glad to share. I'm the stamp guy because I love stamps. Started the stamp rally so that everyone will know the thrill of plunking a stamp. Okay. There you go, and that's the end of that story. Simple enough. Hmm. Suppose we'll just keep going around, Feron. Do you want to check some of the other tree areas around here? Maybe? Probably. Hmm. Gotta stay away from the Zora's River for now. Oh, in the desert. Everywhere else is gonna be fun to go to. It, it would be quite funny to just absolutely steamroll some of the bosses with some crazy strong echoes. Though to be fair, the limit on that is of course your capacity, which is not all that high right now. So you have to get it from bosses? I'm sure it's not just bosses, but can upgrade energy and heart containers in other ways. I would imagine there are other ways to upgrade this stuff. Mm -hmm. So where to? I guess we will just go around front. Oh, they got tall grass. What is this, Pokemon? More Moblins and- ooh, big Moblin. Okay. Sword and Shield Moblin. Oh, wow. Ooh, and strong too. So, if we get them to team up, one from the front and one from behind. Okay, so a lot of the intrigue and combat here is definitely coming from having to attack enemies from both up front and behind. I see. I like that. But, this is a way to get a new and better echo. Come on. Take you out and focus on Mr. Spear Guy over there. Okay, the hitboxes are good enough that it will work. Come on. Ooh. Screw to take out Spear Guy. Come on, come on. I no, not you, not you. Not you. Okay. And they're successfully distracting him as well. That's nice. Come on. I uh, go away. Either way, once you're mine, that's gonna be a fun option, too. Oh, come on. Oh. It's just, whenever I get sent, it's gonna be four costs. That's an exciting idea. No, that isn't going to be good. Come on, come on. There we are! Okay, now we got the chest too, and this is... Strong. This is the... We're in the Sword Moblin level 2. Okay, so some damage are levels, and that's... Oh, it's 4! Nice. The Strong Moblin is common all over Hyrule. It blocks with its shield, but struggles when its attacks are blocked. That is going to be... Rather nice. Okay. And a sewer. So you got seven river horses. These creatures have distinctive mass. You can't use them in their current form. Huh. That's there too. When using a drink, it enables the drinker to swim faster than usual. Hmm. Okay. Well. 
seems to be our option. Whenever we really need to damage something, we've got... Uh, sword mob when level 2 on our side to just be an absolute bruiser. That's fun. Let's get down here, and here is our teleport point. Huh. Some kind of glowing Zolfir on wetlands. Hmm. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Oh, so presumably I'd be able to get inside. Or at least see where the dungeons might be, given that it's in block. Nice. This is some kind of Zol. Get inside southern ruins from outside the still world, but it's just a single room. Or the Hydra Zol Echo. It's to a Zol variant that grows when exposed to water. Its liquid surface makes it immune to fire. Interesting. Huh. Some glowing mushrooms as well. So we can definitely climb around, but it's definitely going to be a more interesting idea to follow the intended path, really. This is just bypassing everything. Eventually, I'm sure we'll find something useful there. That, oh, goodness. Giant Hydrazole. That's gonna be a fun echo. If you can catch up. There we are. Oh, blocking works one, too. Oh, well, that's not actually anything new. It's kind of sad. And you are. What are you? Surprisingly durable. This is... We're in the Drippetune Echo. This amphibious monster's croaking song can call rain from a cloudless sky. Ah, so that's basically a puzzle key. So my question is, what would rain be good for? We've got an electric monster, given how Breath of the Wild and Heroes of the Kingdom work. You could probably use it to increase the effectiveness of electric attacks, maybe? Now it's raining. Hmm. I wonder what that will actually do in practice, and oh baby, that's not good. I need a bed. Go on. Now this might be what keeps me in here. I may need to just get stronger. Luckily, the shield is blocking all these trash mob attacks, and what are you? You are. We're in the Hoarder Echo. Naturally camouflaged, this creature hides underground until an unwary foe approaches the mushrooms on its back. Well, I feel like getting a new bed. Okay. Maybe that might be in Castletown. It would make some sense. Getting some new echoes. <clears throat> but I do wonder where I'm going to end up using the Drippetoon. It's kind of the opposite of how in the original Link to the Past you had to use the Ether Medallion to get rid of the rain in Misery Mario Open the Dungeon. Come on. I wonder how fast the best of bed would heal me. It's interesting to think about. Okay, we're good. Sword Moblin. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Luckily, you're not too intimidating. Stay away from me. I did not mean to do it like that. Luckily, we can chop this grass. While. There we go. Our friend fights them off for me. So. I want a Deku Scrub and another Deku Scrub. We'll talk to you. You don't look like a Deku scrub, but that get up your Quillian out of town or I'll answer questions if you have any. Where am I? Red fur on wetlands is not an easy part of the world to live in. Gotta be tough, this place will gobble you up. Any more questions? Deku scrubs. For folks to keep up with the latest trends and we're cute too. Basically, we're the best. If the scrub next to me went underground, you could pull them out with bind. Guess you'd have to yank them out if you wanted to talk to them. Any more questions? I'm fine, thanks. You know where to find me. Okay. Yank. There we go. You plucked me. I guess there's something you want to talk about. Fair on wetlands. Sure, okay. Cute noises. What now in Fair on wetlands? It's peaceful. Don't know what brought you here, but I hope you relax and enjoy your stay. Not exactly because the rift that rifts haven't come yet. We're just exploring. You plucked me. Not really. Then why do you pluck me? I get it. Probably not a toner. Ducky scrubs. 
Check out the other ones. Questions, where am I? Okay. It's anything new. Fine, thanks. You know where to find me. He doesn't comment on the back that we plucked the other guy. It's kind of sad. Another Drippetune. Hmm, I wonder what changes are actually meaningfully made by... Oh, come on. Come on. What difference is actually meaningfully made by the rain being here? Get rid of the rain with a Honda seed? Maybe. Takes some time, but they can easily take the bugs down. It is nice that they have different dialogue if you come here before it's story relevant. Come on. So a few more hits. There we are. Another apple. So we could throw you up top to take the frog out. There we are. Well, we knocked you off. We still need to do some chasing. Oh, please. We're fast for no reason. Come on. This is definitely a bit above my day grade. Hmm, any more? Or will the rain end? Now, the rain is ending, but doesn't mean all that much, and that one is clearly a beetle. Okay. So you can lock on to them to tell. That's convenient. Hmm. What is up here? It's clearly some kind of dungeon. Maybe. Although, again, I don't imagine it would be accessible right now. Well, I don't know. It's worth checking. Uh, will they let us do dungeons out of order here? Oh, come on. Hmm. Chop. Chop. Two more chops. It's a bit much, honestly. Okay. I wonder if there'll be any way to just upgrade the damage of my echoes unilaterally. Hmm, so this seems to be something like a Deku Palace. Yeah, and there's no way this isn't some kind of door. Oh, it's probably on the other side of the door. That dungeon. Probably can't get to it, but it's climbing up here. Okay. Come on. Actually, never mind, maybe. This is interesting. Oh, hmm. You can get up here, but the dungeon's definitely inside. Okay. Those rocks are just blocking off a segment you can't get into without being in the still world, presumably. Makes it a little bit like Skull Woods, kind of. Now you're constantly going in and out of the dungeon. In various perspectives. Because we can't get in here. Period. Right now. Honestly, let me see. Could I light those flower braziers? I wouldn't bet, but it's worth checking. Your angle is bothersome. That worked. Okay. Let's try the Ignazol real quick. See if I can light any of this up. Hmm. And the answer is no. That's not actually a Brazier. Let's rid of both of them. Come on. He won't return. Thank you. Hmm. The multiple ways down through here. Hmm. Let's keep moving and see. I mean, we're, oh, that is a big bug. Huh. Come on. But it doesn't seem like I can walk onto it right now. It is nice that there's a bit of generosity. It's not purely 2D. Oh, buzzblob. Yeah, those are probably buzzblobs, and I would imagine the rain is making them a bit more effective at what they do. Ooh, hmm. Ah, so very plainly, it's more effective due to the rain there. Yeah, I would bet send the crawl to a diagonal would do the trick here. Let's see. Come on. Crawl diagonally up the wall. Go for the frog. Come on. Oh, and there's another stamp. How nice. 
My question is, how am I going to get that ore? It's gone, which means the buzz watch should be a good deal less effective, though they st are still in water. Now they're stand. I'm always parachuting. Okay. Hey, you have the stamp already. Okay. That's simple enough. This is the eastern edge of the map. Hmm. But it really does make me wonder. There's some ore in there, but... <sighs> Definitely beds. Beds and ignazoles. Let's do it like this and... Try burning that. Okay. Come on. And that worked. Just had to throw it across it. And oh, the beds are burning. Awesome. Just to get inside there real quick and find... Electrox would probably work to get them in. Shoot at them from outside. And another mic crystal. How nice. And nothing really in there. So let's just send the Octorox at them. Sit down at a bit of a... Phalanx, I suppose. Oh, that's right. I can just put them in the water. They are rather resilient. Well, here's our shimmer. And that's... You are in the Buzz Bob Echo. Slow moving but powerfully charged with electricity. This creature's shock field is even wider in water, so... It's Dripitoon plus Buzz Bob and... You're good to go. Okay. Cool. Get this real quick. Set the way of that Buzz Bob. Let's put a couple of you down. Yeah, yeah, just get shot at, please. And... Like a little firing squad. That's fun. Anything else over here, or... It might have just been that stamp, honestly. Oh, no, we're just waiting. Okay. So I suppose that was it, that and the ore. Hm. I... It's gonna be interesting to see when and where I'll be able to make use of that buzz bob. Business scrub smoothie shot in world class deliciousness. I surprised that there was no teleport here. Oh, it's probably in scrubbed in. Oh wow, their town's got a name. Well, well of course I guess. And oh, those are Scarred Sword style bobbas. That's fun. Can we pull your head? We can still pull the head. Nice. Level two? That's yeah, Deku Bob level two. Yeah, those look like the Skyward Swords one. Skyward Sword ones. Aggressive and immobile versus ferocious plant. A ferocious plant that uses its large mouth to snap at and swallow enemies, its hard head protects it from attacks. But of course you can still pull it. <laughs> that vulnerability remains true. And it's my profound genius that keeps me going this later game area. It This really does feel as dumb as it sounds like Elven Ring. In that the Sukin's break really is meaningful. Because these areas are just harder. You can go in there, you can get some strength by going in early. But they're not going to hold your hand. There was no scaling or anything. And in fact, they specifically limit your strength through the echo limit that increases over time the increasing cost of better echoes. They really cooked here. This? I don't want to say that this is my favorite Zelda game already, but honest to god, it's definitely a contender. The fact that it's 2D style in tune with In tune with the existing lore, to an extent that Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild simply were not, and beyond that also... Oh, what are you up to? I... Stupid parrot. I... Spear Moblins, maybe? It's been a while since I used you. Come on. Oh, baby. I'm gonna... That is hitting. Limited usefulness, and... You gonna swerve at me, or...? This is tough. Come on, come on. I don't want you to hit me. Better Spear Mob, it would be nice, I suppose. I wonder if I'll be able to get a higher Echo Limit from 
quest or something. And what is this bird? This is... Oh, we have to be a... Can't be on it. We have to be on the side. It's directional. You weren't the beacon echo. Persistent and wild, this mo monster follows its prey and calls for nearby allies to attack on its better half. So I'd imagine it makes other echoes more aggressive, maybe? Hmm. Well... What is up with you? Oh, group monster. Okay. Hmm. Luckily, they can block your weird, funny slime attacks. Come on. And you are... We're in the Goo Spectre Echo. Those were in Link's Awakening. A gooey nightmare that flattens itself to the ground make it impossible to attack. Well... Now we'll protect it from Mr. Shieldman over here. And as long as they draw aggro, we're good to go. Come on. Vulnerable enough and for enough time. And you go up and get hit by the lingering hitbox to an- Oh, baby! That's bad news. That bet is going to be necessary. Luckily, it's having no real problem hitting both at once. Come on, and Who are you trying to hit? Oh, it's trouble targeting, too. Well, it's time to get a good little bit of rest. And I would imagine that finding a way to light that on fire would be useful. Even though the other razors seem to be lit. But can we go inside there now, or do we have to set that on fire? Hmm. But I'll tell you. Very few things feel better in a game than a well-executed sequence break. But maybe I should have got a cast down first. Because I probably got the better bed there. Maybe there might be a Deku scrub bed or something and scrubbed in. That's where I'm from, by the way. Scrubbed in. Okay. So that's rid of that. Put some beds down. Come on. Not, not like that. Not like that. Angle is a little finicky. So let's... Ignazol and... That did not seem to really do anything. Well... Completeness has to count for something, right? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I actually want to put some of them out. I... Let's actually try that. Some of the drippage unit should put all the torches out. And... I... I guess not. But I... Honestly would imagine that... Some kind of... Puzzle. You have to light some of them, but not all of them. Then you get some reward from doing that, maybe. Lots of sun in here. Mm -hmm. Got a cave. What is. Oh, we got Armos. Nice. Okay, so we can keep you away. Let's send this Armos down. Throw you across it. Oh, hmm. Wonder what is actually going to deal damage to you then. Maybe the urchin actually. Hmm. To be completely honest, if I could pick some of them up, maybe it's probably a matter of weeding them around and hitting them from behind. Maybe. This guy's might be a bit above my pig right at the moment. Aww. How am I going to get rid of you? Uh, I think attacking them from behind somehow is going to have to get away. Dark Knight might do it. Might do it. Some nice blunt force trauma. Maybe. There's no way that they're just indestructible. 
I did not mean to go out. Come on. There's part of me that does wonder if the goal isn't going to be to... One of them is just a statue. Not all of them are actual. Living Armos. Oh. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Stuck in a way that I don't like. I feel like finding a way to push to get behind them would be necessary. I okay. Ah, that might be the way. Honestly. Oh well. Okay. To get behind them and then put an echo down. Possibly, but they're pushing hard. Oh yeah, that kind of works. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I, if I can hit them from behind, the pea hat's actually gonna be a good option. Yeah, okay, cool. And that's a dead Armos, too. Nice! How much will this thing cost? Or the Armos Echo? It's, oh, only two. Hmm. It's a living statue, tirelessly patrols back and forth in a straight path, never wavering, always facing directly ahead. Hmm. If I can find a way to hit the Armos from behind, this will do. They're actually pretty vulnerable. Okay. Not you, not you. Not okay, well, it's already auto targeting that one. There we go. There's something on that next level as well. What if we took out every single Armos here? What would that do for me? Oh, you can just knock them off, it seems. It also works. But frankly, that is not what I wanted. It doesn't seem like there are any special rewards for doing it this way. Well, alright. Fair enough. What I do wonder is... What is up with that one single non-mobile Armos? Immobile Armos? Especially since it is funny how you get sort of wily e. Coyote physics and can jump off them as they break free. Short seconds. Now, what is your deal? We could pull you out. Okay. Oh, but... Some of these have flower patterns on them, and I wonder if there isn't some level of putting them down on there. Maybe. I doubt it. I don't know. Hmm. Is there interesting? Not a lot of stuff. Oh, but they're moving. Oh, you can even see. Oh, they got a big vulnerable crystal on their backs. That's fun. All right. Let's go up here. This is. Ah, oh, so that's going. Oh, we got Bemos. That's fun. Okay. And does that break break them, or... Let me see. If I put a rock down, can I crush them? That's my question. So if I was able to somehow... actually repurpose the Beemos for my own nefarious purposes, that would be phenomenal. Hmm. Somehow that does not seem to be the case to me. I should definitely try to. So they're not dead. Oh my goodness, that is actually vile. Let's try this. What an actual Beemos Echo would be truly ridiculous. It's gotta be a bomb. Anytime you've been able to really kill a Beemos in other Zelda games, you had to use a bomb. But... Mm. 
I'm just thinking about, I wonder if I could grab them. That would do. Ah, you can. Oh, nice. Okay. This might be promising. What if we just dropped a big rock on you? That do anything different? Huh. Does that one... Does only the other rock actually do damage? You might need to be from higher up. I don't have anything high explosive. That's the thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. No, I... Strop you. Do that from pretty much anywhere we feel like. But I... Oh, baby. I don't like that. Uh, put that down. It's getting pushed back. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, come on. Please. Let's put you down here and see if that does anything for me. Yeah, it was able to stop you, but... Well, the armors don't even deal damage, it seems, is the thing. Well, and rest for a bit and see if the Dark Knight will do this any better. So I really do wonder... How I can destroy them and therefore get them as an Echo. Because a Beemos Echo would be really, really nice. Imagine it costs at least five, though. There's no way I can actually deploy it right now. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Let's again move it to a more convenient position. Just drop this rock on you. <sighs> Deactivates it, but not seem like there's a way to permanently destroy them. Not with what I currently have available. That... I understand. It still makes me sad. Uh, it's just... If there's going to be a way, what is that way going to be? What is this... Switch. Hmm. Got another Beemos. I'd have to activate a Beemos somehow. Maybe. Yep. Uh, what if I put you up top and that worked still. Let's put you down here. Can't go down quite. Hmm. Let's just drop you then. Make sure you don't get me. Luckily, the shield is rather good at blocking them off. Okay. What is inside this treasure chest? Answer is oh, just apples. Okay. How about them apples? And I cannot jump over you. Oops. Come on. And... Oh, well, I... <sighs> Ladder took too much time. Nothing to do but sleep. Should have gone and scrubbed him. Look for a better bed. Really do wonder if they would let me in. Any of the dungeons in here now. The fact that you can go in the caves and get... Meaningfully stronger is... It's a good balance. I like it. Especially since the Echo Limit keeps from getting too out of hand. <sighs> okay. You back down. <sighs> Damn. And... Luckily that worked. Let's... Have you go over there. Because there's our shield. Walk it up pretty easily. So what else is in this cave? 
some keys. Best way to handle that would probably be summoning some keys of our own. Just get them, get them. My bats on your bats. Okay. And that's gone. Oh, one more. Come on. Okay. Take that back. Take that bat. Then, what does that go up to? It's interesting. I... Will that activate? Okay, yeah. It was just a matter of hit it with something, anything, to activate the switch. I wonder if there was anything that could phase. And, oh, what are... Some kind of golden dark mountain. That's funky. Okay, I... Oh, oh, wow. Well then. Luckily, we weigh you down. Things won't be all that bad. Good old Dark Knuckle. Oh well. And oh, they're completely immune. Wow! Okay. Good thing we had the fairy. Suppose the benefit of this is getting that echo, and there we are. Cool. It's a chess. Actually, a bit less durable than I would have expected. Now we've warned your business. This is the Dark Knight level 3. Straight level 3. Echo, and we can't even summon that. Huge and powerful, this Dark Knight variant wears armor that can even protect it from arrows. And I just can't do it. <laughs> it is beyond my capacities. And got a spin brace wearing this. Sturdy but light shoulder pad will enable them you to knock back foes you hit with a spin. That's fun. Please remove one first. Oh, so there are limits to how many. Oh, we got a little aura on that spin now. That's fun. There are Beemos here, but primarily oh, there's that dark nut and. I didn't even realize I had that fairy on me. That came in handy. I kind of feel like going back and getting another one, but I'm gonna walk all the way back so the enemies don't respawn. But, I would imagine that that was related to some quest. So I suppose this is kind of the pea hat of the area. That's fair. But of course... Go ahead. Pick it up. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Well, a keys. The keys can't take out the Beemos. That's nice. Okay, so we can quit ourselves of this awful, awful place. This stay dead, I don't imagine the armos were necessary for anything. But I. This is a place with Beemos. I want to kill Beemos. I want to kill a Beemos eventually. As if I- oh, so it seems that there's a bit of a reset time. Okay, that makes sense, but still. In that case, may as well dip. Do want to see if I can get a teleport point in Scrumpton first, but we'll be okay. Come on. Goodbye. And goodbye. And the Dark Knight level 3, long before we even got Dark Knight level 2, is... That's true sequence break material. I like it. So, we'll chop down a bit more grass. Imagine getting the ability to do a great spin with this twirl. And all it would let you do is cut down grass slightly more effectively. That would be nice. Let's go to town. Scrubbed in. Hello. Oh, uh, if you had something from the shop, what do you mean? I'm talking about a smoothie, so fresh, perfect for a hot day. I'm not sure anyone else has even tried them. I've got a great product, but the owner's just no good at promoting it. Alright. It's the only kind of drink available. Smoothie shop. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Oh, and he looks like the business scrubs from Ocarina Majora, too. Welcome to the original smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft around freezing, taste but pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients, and I blend them together. 
So come now, let's get to it. Ready to make a smoothie. Hmm. Oh, we can make... Is there a recipe book? Only customer, you're the only customer I've had all day. I'd like to chat. Shop's been open a long time, and it's barely drawing customers, but things will turn around when I start importing ingredients from my siblings in other regions. The bigger menu available at the smoothie craze will finally kick off. Daku scrubs are always after the next big thing, so they'll find out that it's smoothies. You can tell your friends you saw the shop's greatness before anyone else. Hmm. I... Let's just try making. Making a few. Should I get as many combinations as we have? Let's make that smoothie. Ingredients plus 10 rupees? Sure. Grapes and swimming. Got it, some of this, some of that. Mix it all up with a teensy pinch of... Alrighty. And... We got a your smoothie. We got a refreshing mixed smoothie. A few drinks, we can save a few. It's gonna be all the combinations, or... Mix of flavors, accent, and the sweet and sour fruit pulp that defines the smoothie. Hmm. Hope you like it. I added that recipe to the menu, so you'll we'll be able to order the same thing next time if you like, which actually is giving me an idea. My siblings and I are new to the smoothie game, and to keep hold over the market, we're opening branches all over my role. And that's been so much work, we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts. So what do you say to a joint venture? You make recipes, we can help the business side. Sounds like a new quest. Come up with ten recipes out of ingredients from your travels, and we should be in good shape. Even throw on rewards, sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. Recipes, please. Business scrubs who run the smoothie shops ask to pretend new recipes. We got nine to go. Menu. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. Can I do your four? That. It's number four. Oh, recipes. Ingredients. Please, and that. So that's specifically. Or you can spend 100 rupees to just get it straight. Interesting. River horse and. Apple, or River Horse and River Horse. Hmm. Huh. Here's Smoothie Combo. Oh, so um, I would imagine that you can combine them with each other for just the effect purely, maybe? Let's make that. Ingredients for 10 rupees, and this is... A. Your Smoothie. Ah, oh, Sea Horse Juice. You got a Rapid Smoothie. A mixed blend set apart by the unmistakable flavor of fresh river horse. Huh. Let's get grapes. Multiple grapes. You got it. Mm -hmm. This is... Okay, another refreshing smoothie, but this one is... Fresh and mixed. You'll notice the robust scent first before the tart fruit pulp bursts on your tongue. Hmm. Multiple apples. Sure. You got it. So what about just butter? Can you actually mess this up? Is there a failure option? This is... You got an apple smoothie. More like apple juice. A shockingly sweet smoothie that owes its flavor to electro apple juice. Let's try nectar and nectar. But it just boosts. It's multi multiple boosts, but nothing else. I wonder what that would do. Hmm. This is Okay. It's nectar. We got a sweet smoothie. So that's basically nothing. The sweetness of floral nectar makes for a soothing smoothie with a bit of pep. Just rock salt and rock salt. Salty smoothie. For energy. That's funny. Hmm. So most of them are just going to be various permutations. Okay. And, oops, you got an unfortunate smoothie. It's a bit chunky and smells kind of weird, but it's technically still a smoothie. So it's a just energy recovery. Okay. Huh. Check those recipes and... Oh, the failures are not actually options of their own. So glowing... Let me see. I do want to try everything with... Oops. Butter and butter. Glowy butter. I imagine the monster horns would just be also unfortunate. Come on. 
And just your smoothie. Ah, yeah, just butter. Drinkable butter. You got a radiant smoothie. The creamy goodness of the smoothie will have you ignoring that it glows a bit. And monster horn and monster horn. It's gonna be trash. That's okay. It's interesting that even though the butter doesn't restore any health, you can still put it with itself. And another crab. Another crab smoothie. But that's... So they all have the same effect of minor energy recovery. Okay. And you cannot get a recipe for unfortunate. That makes sense, but still. Let's just combine grapes with everything. Mix. Refreshing, new smoothie combo. Got an apple. Apple grape. You got it. It's funny that he charges you even when he makes trash. It's called business sense. Smoothie and another refreshing mix. Yeah. Okay. And sweet and sour fruit pulp, sweet and sour fruit pulp. Okay. Mm. And that's. Ah, and it shows both possible recipes. Interesting. Hmm. That and nectar. Let's make this. I wonder how many recipes there are. How many ingredients there even are. But I really do want to craft everything with everything eventually. This is... Got a sweet, refreshing smoothie. An invigorating mix of floral sweetness and tart fruit pulp that bursts on the top. Hmm. So this and salt. Energy and healing. How will this work? If it will. Okay. And smoothie. Got a refreshing, another refreshing mix smoothie. Huh, okay. A lot of samesies. Some butter. Butter grape. And we are with another refreshing mix smoothie. Okay. It's not bad. But. Let's see how well, this works. I bet it's just gonna be another mixed. Yeah. And. Your smoothie, and. Oh, it's trash. Oops. So. Horse and. Apple. Let's see what this does. Pee. 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 Oh, and this is you got a mixed apple smoothie. The smoothie combines multiple flavors, but apple sweetness is the base. Hmm. We got our recipes and lots of refreshing mixed smoothie options. Okay. Apple and river horse and nectar. Sure. That's what this does. Come on. This is. And another rapid smoothie. Okay. I guess we just need more ingredients. Maybe. Go with salt. Pee. Pee. Not to run out of river horses, though. Hmm. Not have to do a bit of buying, or at least we're looking for monster chests, actually. That could work. And it's just another rapid smoothie. Okay. Search for new recipes is actually rather Pee. tough. I think there might be a bit of fundamental incompatibility here. Maybe. And it's... Crap. Nice. This and... This and... Nectar? Sure. Gonna be a sweet apple? Come on. Just give me something new. 
And it's a mixed apple smoothie again. Okay. Hmm. Rock salt? Sure. It is interesting that I suppose that there's some correlation with would this actually taste good in real life. And, oh, a salted apple smoothie, like a margarita. The saltiness in the smoothie balances the sweetness of apples for a satisfying tang. Hmm. It's new, at least. Salted. Get some buttery apple. Maybe. Give me something new. And this is an apple radiant smoothie. An appetizing blend of creamy and sweet, the smoothie is always a hit. Fun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, 24610, that's it. You made all the recipes we asked for. With that many items on the menu, every customer will find something to like. Here's your reward for helping expand the shop's menu. And oh, a spyglass. You got a survey scope. A special spyglass makes smoothie ingredients and monster stones appear a little more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. So oh, that's really nice. You've been a huge help. We've got plenty on the menu now. Well, that's what I like to say, but now that we've experienced the cool mouthfeel of success, I want to expand our menu again. What are you sending? 10, no, 20, 20 more new recipes. To make it worth your while. Ah. Having tasted the possibilities of the business scrubs, you run the smoothie shops, ask you for 20 more recipes. You got 20 to go. Well, how do I work on the smoothie shop? Let's chat. There's 20 more recipes until way up 20. You can do it. We're counting on you. And is that an equipment or... Ah, we have to equip this. Special spyglass, smoothie ingredients, and monster stones will appear a little more. We can break objects or beat monsters. Take this off. Why can we get more accessory slots? Accessories are actually really cool. The specificity of them actually reminds me a bit more of the rings of the Oracle games. Too many drinks, that'll make some space first. Okay, let's drink some of our crap. Some of the garbage drinks. Yeah. Goodbye. 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 Okay. So, what else can we make? Recipes, and we do have ten. Mm -hmm. So, apple and the final horn. This is gonna be inedible. Actually, it's gonna be undrinkable. But... This is. undrinkable! Fortunate smoothie. Yeah. Only remaining options for anything new are salt and nectar. This could actually be good. Maybe it's gonna be salted caramel. Probably not. This is. Yeah. Experimentalism only gets you so far. Okay. Cool. It'd be cool if you could see the recipe book from outside, but whatever. Hello. You had some from the shop? I have. Oh, glad to meet a fellow smoothie fan. I'm not sure anyone else has even tried them. They've got a great product, but the owners are just no good at promoting it. Sad. Here we are in Scrub Town. Scrub Tun. Right. Right under that temple. Business scrub smoothie walk, three second walk, you're so close. If you say so. And here's our teleport point. Here we are. Good old Scrubton. This waypoint has been recorded, you can now warp here using the map. Hmm. Where there is the fairy pond. I should have a look at that. Hmm. It's funny how badly drawn that Zelda is. It's almost offensive. Almost. There's our fairy. Hello. Oh, but right, we can see the empty fairy bottle now. A sturdy empty bottle, fairies will jump right into it. There we are. Okay. Fairy jumped into your bottle, yada yada. Let's go back to Scrubland. Something here. As to what it is. Who knows? 
we can simply keep on moving. So let's get up top here. And what are you? What is that? That fruit. Oh, we got more butter. Okay. My portions of radiant butter. Someone has a quest. Welcome to Fearon Wetlands. It's pretty quiet right now. So why'd he come here? Were you bored? Did he just get real lost? No rift yet. Hmm. I'm having fun. I'm eating good. Life's great. I hope nothing changes and everything stays just like this. Oops. Some spiders showed up in the Fearon Wetlands and started making webs everywhere. What's strange is the web smells sweet. Hmm. Sweet. I wonder what that means for how I'd get rid of them. More scrubs around here. Come up with that. What is your quest? Hmm. Human's gotta be connected. Hmm. This clothes, that confused look, I know what you are. Okay. You're a bumpkin. Ever seen rain before a bumpkin? Oh, the frog. If you run fair on wetlands, we get sunny days and we get rain, what you might call a mix. But I noticed something before the rain starts, a monster makes a sound. I think that monster must be causing the rain, but what is it? It's that frog. I see that look in your eyes, you want to get to the bottom of it too. Okay, fine, I'll let you help. I was having trouble on my own anyway. Go find the monster and bring it my way. Your best bet's probably to look in the places where it's raining. I'll be waiting here. The rain-making monster. Deku Scrub realizes that it rains after a certain monster makes a sound. You're asked to bring in the monster making the sound. Find the monster that makes it rain. If you find it, bring it to me. That would be that frog. We drip it to him. There we are. Oh, cutscene. More or less. That's your answer. Yep, that's the sound I remember. And look, it started raining. So that sound does cause the rain. This is a huge discovery. Maybe the biggest ever. And I'm the genius who figured out... Not really. Ooh, genius. It's got a nice ring to it. I could have done it without you, but here's a reward anyway. Just apples. Okay. Huh, a monster makes it rain. My hunch was right. I really am a genius. I can go solve a math problem. Okay. And that's done. The monster making the sound was a dripitoon. The Deku scrubs seem pleased to have gotten to the bottom of the mystery. So it's the sound of a dripitoon that makes it rain. I figured it out all by myself, except, well, I guess he helps. Okay. Hmm. Let's continue. I wonder what that guy's gonna have to say to us. This might not be a dungeon. It's definitely something of note. We go inside there or not? What's your deal? I don't want anyone coming this way while I'm working. Okay, you got me. I'm not working, but don't I deserve a break? I don't know. Tell me yourself. I'm afraid that's a question that only you can answer. Okay. Clubs are sweet. I wonder if that's a nectar related, or if that would mean some monster would be able to get it easily for us, maybe. Hello. This is the clink the who's gap. It's where we put folks who've done bad things. Thieves always end up in the clink. Nothing to see her scram. Aww. Oh! It's bad people go, we can't let you in, we don't even know you. So the Quink the Who's going to the small the bars for bad people. So clearly, eventually, we're going to get thrown in there. We're going to have to bust our way out. I think that's pretty plain. Okay. Keep on moving. Okay, so this is really just the way to scrub it, I suppose. Stuff down there. We'll... Could skip into it, but... Prefer to actually go with the intended path. Stuff down here, too. What is this? Is that the actual dungeon? Who knows? Wait, anyway, there's a stamp right here. Gotta go down and another stamp, and it's the same pose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, those are the flowers from. Let's get some funny little. Octorox take this buzzwob out. Fish are gonna be annoying. Hmm, something with a range is definitely gonna be the way. Bring out back a lot of old enemies that have not appeared much in a while, which I like. Come on. 
Ooh. How much damage are they gonna deal? How much do they miss? Seem to home in very slightly. Hmm. The Moblin's definitely a better option here. Come on. We still have smoothies for healing. That is nice. Hmm. Alright. Sending a Buzzwob in is probably the way to go here. I just zap you all. Yep. Cool. Just constantly paralyze you. Kill the fish. Come on. Come on. Keep zapping. Ah, and you even paralyzed the flower, haven't you? This is. You won't learn the prawn echo. And that's just two. Long fins and remarkable ferocity to find this underwater predator it pursues its prey relentlessly. Hmm. Okay. I. Yeah, whenever there's anything in water, you just zap it to death. Honestly, maybe two piranhas might do the job better, given how relentless they supposedly are. Okay. This does seem nice. Especially since they seem to be a little invisible. I mean, invincible. This is... The... From the giant Gaponga flower. This one only really appeared in Link's Awakening. Oh, so they just have to just port it on since it's the same engine. How many of those appear outside of Kohoin is weird. Native to the Feron Wetlands, this monstrous plant spits large clusters of dangerous pollinated enemies, and that... It's totally stationary. Except all of my echoes. Let's try it. Come on. How well is this going to do? Oh? Damage? Oh my goodness. That Talk about heavy artillery. Send two at each other. Oh, they cancel out. That's funny. I... Piranhas for them, and for almost anything else. Well, the flowers. Piranhas for flowers, and flowers for piranhas. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's put a couple more down. In the water, stay away, and... Honestly, I think the Buzzwobs actually did a better job. Kind of funny. And... Piranhas hitting the other Piranhas is... amusing conceptually. It's gone now. How many more... will be down here? Hmm. We got a couple. Put the Gaponga down. Like, we don't have to actually be swimming. And, mm, timing is a little inopportune. Luckily, yeah, it's basically an artillery cannon. This, it's fun to have access to stuff like this. Look, okay, the timing isn't exactly lining up, so it's not like you can just avoid it entirely. Mm. Hmm. So there was some heart shape of Link. Let's go in this cave. I really do wonder, how would I take out a Beemos? All these seem to be... Uh, glowing would be a good thing to have here. Let's actually take that. Get that glow up. That's okay, I guess. Uh, so that actually hits... Pretty well. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm. No. Never mind. Ah. Uh, did the wrong thing. Come on. That parrot is evil here. I'm gonna stay away. Got an apple. Best way to hit stuff in the air would honestly just be summoning a bunch of keys. Come on. 
will swarm you so you can't hit me with your incessant squawking. I did not mean to do it like that. Okay. This should be a good anti-aerial option. I would hope. One should be gone. I would hope. Again. Come on. Swarm the keys. Uh, depends on how close you can even get. It... This is troublesome. Definitely. At least they can't get up here. Yeah, they can't jump. That's convenient. Get them all down there and we're somewhat good to go. Somewhat. Please. Uh, but the spear mob one definitely does a lot more damage to it. Hmm. Interesting logistically. Or maybe we could send some of our own guys. Maybe. Luckily, it's not too hard to actually hit, but still. I actually... Let's put the flower down. And just... Oh, but it's hitting the ceiling. Uh, very spatial. You'll stay on here. Not come down. They'll allow you to attack with impunity. Which, it's not like they'd hit you because of the shield anyway, but... Still better. You don't have to waste time blocking. Though I'm not sure that even interferes with their sword swing interval. Come on. I, oh my goodness. And the apple's just gone. That's stupid. It's not that I need that many, but still. And of course I got my scope, so... Pushing greens are not gonna be... I mean, smoothing greens are not gonna be hard to come by, but still. Uh, it's interesting to be here, but I am not supposed to be here. I'm just playing. Hmm. Mushrooms are actually helping out a bit. Let's go in here. This is... More of that. I... Butter would be good. Let's go for a bit more glow. Okay. Imagine there's probably an accessory that gives you glow anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Go ahead. Oh, come on. How many more do we gotta put up with? So, oh, that'll protect you from one hit. I think. And you get knocked down? Oh, of course, the best way to be to just drop them off, but whatever. Of course, just sending a bunch of keys in to swarm that keys. Thanks. Let's get across there. Hmm. But of course, really seeing inside the cave is not an option. Let's put down a couple of beds. That was a good way to do this. Cross the gap. Let's get that piece of heart. Which that one is. Let's see. Oh, we can't even yank that. Interesting. Now we can. If you like this, we can drop you. Okay. Goodbye. Just gonna have to use a bit of our night vision. Do this. Like arrows. Okay. And where, oh where? It's another. Boom. Hello. Well. That does the job. That said, given that they do have drops, I'd probably prefer to be pursuing them with the Malun anyway. If it does take an inordinate amount of time. But it does make things noticeably darker, so. What I really wonder is, will I get any interesting new echo here? Hmm. There to there. So it's there. That has some outlet somewhere. Also has... Ah, now we can light things on fire. Okay. What is your deal again? You a new kind of spider? That is a new kind of spider. Okay. This is... 
We're in the baby goma echo. This creature slings sticky webs at folks to slow them down. The webs are curiously flammable, though. Hmm. So, we have our Ignazol here ready to actually light things up. I there we are. Oh, we could just be using these as sources of light. Yeah, okay. Hello there. Well, that was remarkably simple. Okay. Get that up. Get that for just, again, light. Get that down. Oh, so we need to spread the fire? Or... Would that do the job? I guess not. Mm -mm. Can you climb on the webs? No, you can't. Okay. Mm -mm. Bet you have to do some kind of tomfoolery with binding. If I could get them across. It's cool I matter. Put an Ignazol down here. And I... Mm -mm. No, not like that. Get rid of you. What do I do here? Okay, come on. Can we take you across? I... Strange. I think it has to be some sort of web spitting kind of deal. Get it through there. Need to... Shoot a bunch of webs out to create a trail to ignite, presumably. Hmm. See how this is gonna work. Will you spit? You spit webs. Hmm. I bet you can hit that one. Put the goma down here. I not like that. Not like that. Hmm. So get the goma. To... No, 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 no. Webs are flammable. Honestly, no, not like that. Not like that. Okay. I'm gonna target that brazier and... Well... Spit something out before you die. Please? 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 Huh. And, okay, that did hit, but... The flammable nature of it. So what I could do then, maybe, is put an Ignazel down here, put a Goma here, and... But I can't... There we are, okay. I did not mean it like that. Not like that, please. Huh. There's gotta be some way to get the Ignazel to stay in place. Goma. I'll just do it quickly and then send the Ignazel down as quickly as I can. Maybe, maybe. I. <sighs> do not, do not. Hold it up. Hold it up. Will it catch fire from proximity? Let's hope. Come on. And we clearly need to find a way to get you behind. You behind us. Okay, come over. Come over. Hmm. Put you down here. Make sure that. Ha. Huh. The webs are flammable. The web. Balls don't seem to be. Huh. Try this one more time. Gotta be something we can do right. Right? Hmm. Pyroclastic. Maybe it's just a matter of placing an actual brazier. I honestly forgot I could even do that. So down here. 
and just put the Goma down here. Come on. Make this happen. Really? Really? Huh. I wonder if there's any kind of projectile that I can make flammable. Some way to spread a trail of fire. Otherwise, it honestly maybe what I need to do is just drop an Ignazole in there somehow. I could see that, I guess. Or, that's right. Let's crawl up in there myself and drop the Ignazel down. Or, can I even get in there? I wouldn't think. Hmm. But I don't have a projectile of my own. Hmm. Check to that I can light and use to spread fire. Something flying that won't immediately die. The spear's flammable. Hmm. So what is flammable that I can use? No, no. No. It is possible that I don't have the tools for this, which would actually be kind of nice. I wouldn't hate that. I... Really? So stupid. You're impossible. Fire your spear. Okay. How would I... My question is, will the webs come back when I re-enter the room? That would honestly answer a question or two. I will go away. If I whip that on fire... What would the Gomas do about it? The Goma do... Can you climb those webs? Hmm. Spin sticky webs. It's not appear to do all that much for you. Mm -hmm. Can't just spawn a web ball in. That won't move. That would be a funny way to do things. It'd be even funner is if I could send try through. But flammable try is not an option, it seems. How sad. In terms of projectiles, I can pass through. Hmm. It's just... What would be... Way... Maybe it's just some kind of fire whiz rope type thing. Maybe. I don't know. All sorts of things that could be valid ways to... Boss is wide open, but... Hmm. I have to take advantage of the ability to spread fire. Maybe that over there is also granted. So what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? Good chance that it's honestly just fire whiz rope somehow. Really? Will this burn? Will this burn? Come on. Come on. You're just too stupid for this. Okay. I suppose I'll just have to come back with some better way to spread fire. That's fair. It's honestly refreshing that there's something I just can't do right now. So I- oh, okay. Nice. Come on, Sorty. Do it to him. How many more slashes? One more. Thank you. Get this back and- well, alright. 
Let's get up on here, get our piece of heart. There we are. Cool. Thank you. How many more do we need? We need... We do need three more. Okay. Don't really have many. So I have to come back with some other way to spread flame. Hmm. Hopefully something will be around here, but you never know. If you're on wetlands again, and oh, it sends you on the other side of this. Okay. It's up top here. Let's get that crawl tool out again. Okay. All of these flowers. It's interesting. Spin around here. Some. Oh, we got another crystal. Huh. Got a my crystal. We're just at four now. Okay. Another one of those godforsaken frogs. Frog forsaken frogs. It's not heavy. Any sort of notation. Oh, and well, there's an Electro Wizard. Hmm. I wonder if I could just put a buzzball down. Or. Oh, please. What's that telegraph there? Oh, please. I. I. That does not hit you? Oh, wow. Maybe then my only option is just a bunch of. flight options? I wonder how much you cost. Mm -hmm. I want to knock you down, maybe. Annoying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I... Charge! Mm -hmm. What would be... Maybe the Kapaga flower? I can honestly see that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Oh, but staying still is not good news. Oh, and that was some vile, vile damage. Come on. Automatically, I... What? Oh, wow. Dodged the wrong way. Huh. So where do we get to start back from? Teleport point or that cave? Okay. We're still there, and that's the first death of the run. Hero mode kinda has hands. Kinda. But Kaponga is a good option for taking that Wizard about. Okay, cool. Dodge. Thank you. Hmm. Cooldown's long enough that you honestly need a new one every time. Hmm. Come on. Ah. Come on. How much damage are we gonna need to be able to take it out anyway? Hmm. Come on. Oh. Oh. Come on. Thank you. You are taking lots of hits. Actually, evil. But Gapong is a really nice echo. Really nice. Come on. Dodge at least. Taking four direct shots. It's actually vile. Come on. Oh, but if we can distract. That's good. And it missed? I actually teleported out of the way. It's really dumb. Come on. <sighs> TP. And timing on this is actually rather inopportune. Constant teleportation is really struggling here. Okay, well. Come on. Shoot. And. Please. That would one tap me. Is the oh, oh, interesting. Actually, I can just hold it in place. Or 
Oh, or I can move it around to dodge the attacks, and it won't prevent it from hitting. Now I s well, sometimes. Sometimes. Feels like there's some issue getting moved midway, and it's just real strong. I think it's kind of mini boss here. We are going to get its echo. Uh, I. Alright. It does seem like aim is getting thrown a bit by this whole business. Come on. Moving it is somehow preventing a hit. Oh, but staying behind the trees works. Okay. Nice. And this is you want the electric whiz robe echo, and oh yeah, it's five. A potent electricity electricity wielder. This creature warps across the sky, fighting lightning fast bolts that shock targets. Huh. I really do wonder if I'll get any kind of capacity upgrade before I actually do another dungeon. My hunch is no. We'll see. It's raining here. Oh, gotten out. Wonder what else is gonna happen. Let me get up. Got one of you. Oh well. I. I love this flower. I really do. It's better than good heavy weaponry, but it misses really easily. It's not perfectly in line. You're not going to be in a good position. I'll write this all back up after on the frog. I wonder what that'll do. There's a stamp up there. That's nice. But I would imagine that I probably need to set fire and again. And is there anything behind that? Or... Hmm. Is there a full stamp? Need one more to get some kind of reward. So there's something there, and can we push this or how move is this? Mm. So I'll light this all back up. The rains have come, but to get up top would be. Come on. Here we are. So we can jump up. Poison works a bit better. Find a way to crawl up top. I guess the crawl through would work. Sure. I... No. No. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Use some bed bridges. Probably just... Ignizel there. That worked. Okay. There we go. Put this down here. We can... Oh, just toss it. Oh no. Just need another bed bridge. Okay. More beds. Oh goodness. Not like that. Thank you. Thank you. And. Ignizol. And, yep, it did something. That's moving, and we got this little cave. Fun. So then. Hidden Ruins. Oh, so is this going to be the dungeon eventually? Or... That's... Okay, just a monster stone. These strange stones weren't inside the bodies of monsters. So based on that spyglass, it does seem like they're formable somehow. Eventually. But... Hmm. Well, that's nice to know. In the Hidden Ruins. Let's mark that. Put a pin down. Yeah. Okay. We can come back here eventually. Now that it's open for good. And for ill. Not interested in finding that wizard robe again right now, especially since I can't even make use of its abilities. 
where else were we were before? Set heart bonds. Another teleport point. Fun. All right, this waypoint has been recorded. You now warp here using the map, yada yada. And what is up with you? What are these purple fruits? That's what really interests me. Well, a visitor, I don't get many of those since I'm kind of out of the way. Are you? Boss, maybe? No, I am exactly where I want to be. Believe it or not. Hmm. Anything here? Probably not. Come on. Curl top, and you do keep going. What is that? Oh, it's a mafia. So they're here too. My question is, how am I going to take that down? Oh, baby. Oh, they got some kind of fire to them. It's interesting. I oh wow. Rocket ships and way too fast. It's not hitting at all. Oh, but if I manage to hold you in place. Ah, and you can just keep holding them. There's no limit. So, the Kapaga might not be able to aim all that well. Can give it a bit of an aim assist. Okay, well. There we are. That's our Mothula. You're in the Mothula level 2 Echo. Okay, and this powerful Mothula lives in the wetlands and it hits 5, yeah. Attacks won't stop this flying juggernaut while it was blasting forward. Hmm. Yeah, we can't even use an echo that's wrong yet at all. I really do wonder how late in the game we're supposed to go here. But, as silly as it may sound, this degree of linearity is honestly a breath of fresh air. I just say, this game has to some extent a preset plot. And if you try to circumvent it, well, the results may disappoint you is actually very nice to me. Okay. Go ahead. Another one should hopefully do the job. It's doing twice the damage of the sword mob, but more. Actually, no. Wait. Oh, slightly more. Ever so slightly more. Oh, man. Uh, and now they're all coming to me. I don't like this. Uh, uh, how far away do I need to take you? At least they're slow, but still. Um, come on. Decently fine to hit, but still. Come on. Keep on aiming for me. Uh, please stop aiming for me. I want to kill you. So tough to hit. Oh, please. Come on. Shoot, shoot. And aim up, aim up. Oh, you're getting stunned. Something horrible. Dumb. This... So the fairy's still in there since it did send me back to an autosave. Sure, refreshing. Okay. And... Uh, I'm very much in over my death. I can on top of here, at least. We can make things work a bit better. Put the flower down and just aim at the stupid parrot. Okay. Come on, come on. I'm gonna kill the parrot. But you're not aiming at the parrot. You're aiming at the beetles. I'm trying to get you to aim at the thing I want to aim, you to aim at. This is hitting me, but come on. Uh, heavy artillery can only do so good. Well, once that's down, I can. Let the sword mob will do the job. Okay. 
Thought we can keep it bad while we put down more echoes, and there we go. Cool. And the sword mob would still do a better job here. Yeah. Especially since you can hit multiple at once, which is pretty nice here. Thank you. Hmm. Bet the Mafia would actually be good at taking out those very annoying airborne enemies anyway. <laughs> Second, I would have thought this was a cave of some sort. That does not seem to be the case. Does not seem to be the cave. So. Come on, come on, come on. The rupee just spawned in. Let's go take you out. And. Hmm. Over there, I see one. Let's just see some piranhas. Okay. This is where we were before we came down from Scrubton. That's where that cave was, and the Kapongas were here. So we've actually explored a decent amount of what's in here. But of course the jail and the various dungeons are not yet accessible, and... Imagine the hidden ruins or the dungeon, where there is something else up top. So of course there's a point where comes a bit of a hair splitting. So what is the dungeon and what isn't? Well, let's put the buzzball back down. Shock it to death. Okay. Cool. Keep you in place. And luckily we don't get affected by our own electric aura. That's good. Literally we already did do that stamp. Nothing seems to be up here. Let's kill a couple more piranhas and content ourselves with the situation. Cool. Come on. Constant damage and the piranha is stuck in the air. That's fun. No, I think that was just a perspective thing. Come on. But, some looks nice. Come on, then. I suppose we'll wait. Put this down so that... Oh, please. Make sure that... Oh, but of course they aren't affected by electricity. That makes sense. Okay. Heavy artillery. And simple enough to take out, I suppose. But of course, that's actually sword mob in business. Everything up here. I went down here mostly. Is that heart pond? Hmm. Yeah, that's throwing wetlands, I guess. The only thing I th think about being a bit more hostile would be the mountains up top here. Probably, maybe. <laughs> so that's the smoothie ingredients, at least. It seems that the apples are common here, which makes sense, because, well, there's electricity here. And another annoying insect. Okay. I do honestly like how everything is summonable even summonable even if maybe they don't necessarily have to be. Just for the sake of thoroughness. True apple. Overhead is good to have. Hmm. Here now. Oh, Zalthos! You're real. Oh, but... Honestly, I wonder if... Kapanga wouldn't do better. He could just keep you in place. Yep, okay, and that's... When the Zalthos echo... That just takes three, interesting. A hunter by nature, this creature wields a razor-sharp spear. It stabs prey with blinding speed. Huh. Interesting. Of course, we'll see how good it is compared to other options I have. Hmm. Does not seem like they're going to let you do dungeons out of order, but are those Ignazoles? Seem to be Ignazoles. 
So in that case... Yep, and there's a toad there, too. Okay. So this would be another place to get Ignazoles if you miss in the first opportunity, I suppose. Okay. Let's let our silly little flower take out some of you. Oh, well, they jump higher than I do. Okay. Come on. There's a rupee, so I suppose. It's a crawl to the moment. Thank you. Cool. Take you back. Hmm. Bypass. It's a little bend by climbing, but I wouldn't do all of that much anyway. Hmm. Burn this with that Ignazol. Which again, if we didn't have that echo, we'd get it here. Hi. Funny strings. Hmm. Okay. If we burn that, I wonder what would happen, if anything. Probably nothing. Here we are. Push you in. Okay. Get whatever's in this chest. Answer is... Some more apples. Okay. Suppose that's alright. He goes up throw this. And there and another Resolvos. Mm -mm. John Gaponga and... Let's keep you still. Can't do much if you're being kept still, can you? Ooh, okay, there's a limit. Some limit. Oh, and we can move you in. To the hit radius. That was fun. Make sure you take the hit. So... Mm -hmm. I'm spinning some rupees from kind of grass. Honestly, I guess it's just for smoothing ingredients. Come on. Thank you. See how long we can hold you. I, okay. Luckily, they actually don't move all that often. Okay. So, sitting down in that clearing. Wonder if maybe some other sort of quasi mini boss enemy, maybe? Gotta be something that makes her spins wider. There's a cave. I bet I could dive down in there and get to something new. Heart pond is down that way. What if it's gonna be a freight fairy fountain, maybe? Some of the trailers showed something akin to one. Oh, just more crystals. Okay. For things that, again, I don't really use. Got a my crystal. It's five. But we need ten. For any falling upgrade. Mm. Definitely want to get on top of the trees to see. If anything's just sitting up there. But if you don't use the crotchal, you are not getting to the bowens. That or some other sort of overworld. Crawling traversal method. Mm. So wall down there. Oh, another stamp. It's gonna be our final stamp, I suppose. It's fun. Okay, come on. Come on. But again, I wonder. Are Bima's gonna require some kind of bomb, or are they simply? not defeatable in this game. These both seem like very real possibilities. Heart Pond is very heart-shaped. Okay. Get down here. Can't hit. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The Sword Mob one is my best friend runner. It's gonna be really funny when I actually get one more capacity and suddenly go from using this guy to using all sorts of crazy busted echoes. Okay, cool. That's our fifth stamp. There we go. And... Hey! Oh! 
Getting started on that stamp rally. How are you watching me? Yeah. Hello again, stamp guy here. Well, stamps, since I was a small guy, now I'm Haro's biggest collector. You found five of my stamps to fill your stamp guard. Here's your reward as promised. And that's milk? Got ten containers of fresh milk. Okay. It's not can be used for a couple of hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. So what do you think? Like that stamp rally? I had a great time. Yeah, there you are. I worked so hard on this. Wowie, I could do a backflip. Everyone's gonna see how fun stamps are, and that's why I'm traveling the world spreading the news about my big stamp rally. But you're the only one playing. Anywho, here's your next stamp card. A nicer one! You got the exciting stamp card. It's the stamp card earned by Stamp Rally Intermediates. The back is soaked through with the various colors of ink. Huh. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go Stamp Rally. Hi. The fun continues, and of course you can look forward to the next reward. And fresh milk. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay, so there are five in total. Interesting. Examine that to see. So the accident continues. It actually does have a bit of a path. Fun. I don't know my story, glad to share. Stamp guy, yada yada, okay. Tell me that already. Okay. Fresh milk. Sweet and refreshing milk of the highest quality when used in a drink and boosts the healing effect of the drinker by a lot. Okay, so there are just 16 ingredients in total. That's not unreasonable. Suppose that keeps things under control. I do want to try diving there. Okay. And some kind of Hydro Deku Baba. Well, solve the same way you solve all those other problems. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. And that's. We're in the Bio Deku Baba, right? The ones that are water. Capable of swallowing whole anything that approaches it. This fearsome plant is vulnerable to having its head pulled. But how's that different from Deku Bob level 2? Probably just the lack of protection, maybe. Maybe. Let's resurface so we don't drown. We have an underwater labyrinth. Hmm. He's so hard. I want to see everything in here. Some bubbles for... Ah, bubbles you can regenerate from. This is also quite nice. Let's snap your neck. Does take some time. Okay. Can use that to move faster too, and... What are those? Oh, wow. Huh. That is a nice way to move faster underwater, too. I... Some Armos here. I... Can a Buzzwob survive underwater? Not really. Okay. Mm. The damage done is... Not really meaningful, either. Let's survive. So it seems that the Biodeku Baba might be. Wait, can the Gaponga Farm survive underwater? Nope. Yeah, so the Biodeku Baba were actually the Piranha will work too. And, okay. Put a couple of Piranhas behind the Armos. Send them out to attack. Okay. I. Oh, no, you try to. You try to get back up top. Mm. I do want to take them out. It's funny that they even exist underwater. It's not as if they're damaging, but still. Mm. Come on, come on. Bio, bio, and... Snap, snap at him. Okay. That's fine. Get our water back. And it should still be fighting. And there we are. Dead, almost. If we go down all the way, what will we get? P 
Okay, so heart was over there, but stuff over here. Does that block me? Yeah, and it doesn't damage me, but still. Hmm. That obviously. Oh, you can use that to flip them around. That's what you do. Okay, now I see. Okay. They're there. You can only really have one going at it at a time. It's a bit annoying. Come on. Right, and we need to get you a bit closer. Come on. Just uh, increase the pace. So what's through here? Answer is... It's not as fast as actually surfacing, though. Okay. Let's rip your head off. Thank you. Keep on moving. Oh, hold well. Another snap. Nice. Ah! Another monster stone. That. Okay. This... This might be the way, actually. Some bugs in there. If I... Can't reach. Mm -mm. Can I put you on the surface? Can you attach to the wall? Oh, if you get close enough, you can just eat him. Nice. Good old flycatcher. So now, we can have you were the needle fly echo. Highly intelligent, this large insect is a ma master of finding the perfect moment to attack. So this would basically be a slightly better piece. Okay. I can see that. Come on. Make sure you send them up. Go on, take each other on. What is this, Killer Queen? Seems that they can't really attack things that are above them all that decent. Below them all. Above them. Above them all that decently. Oh, come on. Please, please. It's gonna work eventually, right? Nothing else, they'll eventually trade enough hits. Oh, come on. I get the feeling that my echoes are weaker somehow. Maybe. There's gonna be some way to increase their strength. Their weaster ability. But when am I gonna get my Revered Spirit Ash Blessing? Either way... Presumably get up top by... Using the Strandhold for the first time in five kajillion years. Okay. Another needle fly down. There we are. Come on. Of course, we could try to get lucky with a Bio Deku Bob. Let's hope that it eats the fly hole, but I'm not in a gambling mood now. Maybe it's that, especially for higher tier summons, or later game ones, you run out of... Your ones are noticeably meant to be weaker. I don't know. By the way, this is finally okay. Strangela. Okay, I... Alright, thanks. Come on, come on. Get on it. Like that. We can bridge across. Simply enough, now that we got four, we can just continue our bridging. That's good. And I bet if you just jump down here if you felt like it. Maybe. Well. And just spin it around and that's about it. Okay. So now... I'm gonna bounce off that piece of heart, but almost went down without too much trouble, and it's a second piece of heart. Thank you. Hmm. 
what else is in this cave? Could be anything else to find now that we've gotten that piece of art. And here and move that rock. Find a way to break its link. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What up here we can get it out of the way. Okay. Something over there that Oh wait. I don't have a way to break that. Huh. huh. That's actually very interesting. I wonder how I meant to actually break it. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll get something on the other side. Well, something that always made it break stuff underwater. That's some kind of... Gazolfos. I... Oh, okay. Something that will attack adequately underwater. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. That's some bad news. This is... Is this up top? Yep. You got up top through there. Hmm. Okay, then. Suppose my question is... Actually, could the Lizolfos attack while underwater? Are they aquatic enough? Maybe. No, it's just that one. Hmm. What other modes of underwater combat do I have? I maybe just Octorox. Yeah, we can try to set up a sort of phalanx. That's fun. I appreciate that in a strategic sense. Oh, good lord. The problem is the fact that I need air. Hmm. But I really... Okay. I have that back, but that means I don't have... No, I do keep the needle flying. That's good. The fastest way to get up to that encounter would be... Going here. Okay. Hmm. It's fun being in over my head like this. Especially since I gotta find all sorts of weird ways to take on enemies. It does seem that just spawning Octoroks until the cows come home is gonna be the dominant strategy here. Okay. Thank you. Luckily, can't really hit me all that well. It's gonna take a lot, though. Funny air is also a serious priority. Dropping Octorox until he drops. Hmm. But I bet if I could summon him, it'd be a decent little great stuff. Yep! But I don't think I'll be able to summon him. This is another monster stone. One of the Lizolfos level 3 echo. Its massive Lizolfos is native to the Theron Wetlands. It is resistant to fire and is also at home underwater. Yeah, we're really punching above our weight. There are so many echoes I literally cannot even summon right now. Hmm. So, I guess we'll come back when we're able to actually break box. Hmm. Big Ruby. Okay. Yeah, that's good. But, what if I just drop a boulder? Just dropped a boulder right on it. Mm, not enough gravity. Well, eventually we'll get robots that I can send in. That might be the way. Yep. 
But the absolute steamroll that is presumably coming now is going to be pretty funny. Got that already. Hello, Buzz Blobs. I will extract you from that environment. And... Oh, yep, can't be hit with shields at all. Come on. Let's hold you in place. A few more Octoroks might be nicer here, but... Eh, it's a bit of a choke point. Wow. It is kind of funny that Buzz Blobs are kind of a tough enemy here. Okay, there we go. All about just having more bullets. That's what it's all about. Just having as much firepower as possible. Honestly, even more than the strength. Oh, and okay. Now, we've got the needle fly here. We can have them engage. But it's all about the Y level here. Well, honestly, the Gaponga might do a better job. It probably would. <laughs> okay. Come on. Ooh, okay. Hopefully they're not all that troublesome, but still. Come on. What? And so that got hit. Let's take a couple more of those smoothies. Mm -mm. Refreshing mix. Sweet refreshing. I... It's not able to have a small amount of recovery. There's nothing below five. Oh, actually, the sweet smoothies. Just two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm wrong again. So here is a teleport point. Here we are, we found all three, presumably. Hmm. There's a heart pond. Hello. This is Heart Lake. It's the most romantic spot in Huron Wetlands. Here waiting for someone on, you know, sweet on TV. Hmm. I feel like making it rain here might cause something to happen. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and ruin the mood. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. It's gotta have some story importance, right? Eventually. Let's go back this way for now. So there are some things that I simply cannot do here right now. Hmm. Fair enough. We got that nice. Lizalfos Echo for later usage. Imagine it's going to be really good in the dungeon here, which probably at least some underwater components. I don't know what this is, though. There's a chest. Question is, what else? We could go and make some more smoothies. That's an idea. This is... Ah, yeah, red rupee. All right. Cool. I suppose. Yeah, but that seems to be everything we can do here right now. Let's go try making some more smoothie recipes. It's not bad. Where are those purple fruits are, though? R.I.P. Rest in P. Hmm. Hyrule Field. Lycalia, Southern Prairie. Didn't have enough might or but I guess I could go back there. Hmm. Some ruins, which will probably be a dungeon. More ruins, which will probably be a another dungeon. 
Got some stuff. Hey there, welcome to Smoothie Shop. What can I do you for? Alright. That's new milk. Lots of healing. Let's do a double milk smoothie, I guess. But it's interesting to see what the various ingredients work with and don't. Like the salt. Okay. That's a refreshing milky smoothie. A silky smooth and mellow base carrying pulpy little bullet boost of fruit flavor. Hmm. So, it's all been mixed. Mix it with the milk. Milky apple smoothie. You got it. Thank you. Your smoothie. Let's move an apple milkshake, a mixed milky smoothie. This appetizing blend of assorted flavors floats freely in a milky smooth base. This with milk. Maybe it's gonna be sweet milk or another mixed, maybe. And this is you got a milky sweet smoothie. A bit of sweetness from the floral nectar makes this new source of drink a treat. And that, hmm, it's 15 hearts. Boost the effect. That normally doesn't do much healing. All right, let's just milk it up. Probably gonna be full health. So, it's just milk. Got a milky smoothie. Smooth, nutritious, and mellow with just a touch of sweetness, but this recovers a lot more, actually. So mixing is always the way to go. Surprised they didn't call it a milkshake. It's gonna be trash. <laughs> there are a lot of possible combinations, too. And, oh, wait, oh, it's got a salted milky smoothie. A healthful blend of creaminess and salt packed with nutrients and flavor. So, this is the most health. This is more energy. Both of them are very good. Milk and butter. I can't imagine that would be bad. And... A milky radiant smoothie. Smoothie is delectably creamy and packed with nutrients. Hmm. Too many drinks, gotta make space first. Okay. Mm. One customer. Okay. Inquest. quest. Recipes got 14 to go. Okay. Hmm. So in that case, there isn't really much I can do in the wetlands right now. Suppose I could sort of run along the rims, so to speak, and see if I stumble onto anything there. Do the same in the forest. But after that, I suppose I could just go to Lake Hylia. Main thing is, I don't want to go to Joggle just yet. Hmm. I do wonder what the map values are going to be precisely. Sanctuaries here. This might actually be around where the Eastern Palace was. This might also be it. This would be it. Hmm. But it's. I wonder what's in the lake. Hmm. Well, I think it's back to the crawl toy. And crawling. Let's crawl around a little to see if crawling gets me anywhere. And then move on to Wiener Pastures. Hmm. Oh, but I bet those flies would have been Deku Baba fodder. I bet I could have had the Baba just eat them whole. That's what I should have tried. Oh, I know. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think that'd work on the Mothula, though. I wouldn't imagine. Oh, come on. 
should take me off. Thank you. So we're up top now. Now we can move around like this. On the rim. Let's work our way south, just to see. And of course, you got the customary giant rock wall around the borders of Hyrule. As one does. One of, one of Zelda's noted traditions. Well, I honestly don't remember how they did it. it went between worlds in comparison. It's been a while since I played that game. About a decade. Hmm. Oh, and the Mothula gets up here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, of course we should be spinning. I, okay, and this is one of those borders. Okay. You both spinning. And that scrub doesn't know why we're here because, well, we. There's no reason for us to be here yet. There's no rift. So. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. I went to a later game area early and got a number of summons that are literally too expensive for me to even use. Not kidding. So that'll be nice eventually, but not right now. As of now, it's really just... Okay, I managed to fight some things that I shouldn't have been able to really beat, or that I wasn't expected to beat, and that's cool. But in terms of rewards, well, <laughs> the rewards are the echoes. Which, at this point in time, I cannot use. So I'm just hopping about on the treetops. Which were the walls between the playable areas I went through. And, of course, this means that you have the ability to sequence break to... Well, it... They are rewards, it's just... They're very, very strong, and to limit the extent to which you can break the game. Some of them are above my limit. And if they're above my summon limit, which right now is four points, I just can't use them. They'll be really useful later, but later is not the same as now. It's going to be interesting to go straight from relatively weak echoes to rather strong echoes as a result of Buffing myself up. But of course that'll come later. How are you doing? Good to see that you're still with us. Still among us. I didn't say that. Hmm. I think I got this already? Yeah, I got this already. Okay. There have been bushes that have just dropped some of the sword upgrade ore. Which of course doesn't mean much to me, but... Because I'm not using sword mode. But, we'll be alright. A couple of the enemies in here were legitimately really, really annoying. There was an Electro Wiz Robe, which was in this pond over here, and in a... This cave where I died, there was a level 3 Lazalfos. Now, I've actually started encountering, because I didn't know that's how the game did it, higher level versions of existing mobs. Final level 2 Deku Baba, which I can use. Though, to be fair... I can only summon one of those, whereas with the smaller Deku Babas, I could summon multiple. It'd probably end up being a bit more useful for my purposes. Maybe. But again, we're just poking around the walls of the area. It's treetops. You know, I feel like being allergic to Pokemon is a very you nightmare. Because it's the kind of thing that would make you really, really sad, personally. Especially since you like Muna. I feel like someone who did Dream Interpretation would have an absolute field day here. Just analyzing why. Ouch. Is that all that much different from normal? 
Maybe not. It is nice that it can't fall between the trees. Being allergic to Pokemon was the fun part. I guess at least because you got to be around Pokemon, maybe. Some bright side. Hmm. Yeah, it's just sort of... Would you accept Pokemon being real if you were allergic to all of them? And I mean every single one. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, see, exactly. It's so easy. Come on. Thank you. I, ah, I couldn't bond on. <coughs> ah. Okay. So, in through here, more or less. See, oh, and, oh, they're burning before the rain came. Now the rain's come. Because of the rain summoning frog monster. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does that even mean? But I suppose we've gone ever irrelevant. Oh, okay. Now that's the first time I've actually teleported. Huh. It's a fun animation. Lots and lots of these Deku scrubs. It's interesting seeing them in a 2D title. It doesn't happen all that often. Because they were introduced in Ocarina. Okay. Well, not much over here. So, just for throwing us a sig, we go back to Scrubton. Hmm. It's another segment of the map explored. Yeah, it... Well, it's a different spider. There's the string spider that uses a ladder, and the wall climbing spider, which is just the way you climb walls. So... They have different capabilities. Sometimes their movement is kind of weird and unpredictable like that. Sometimes. It... I imagine there are at least two dungeons in here. So whatever this is, and is able to get inside these hidden ruins. But after the first room, it was just blocked off by rocks. It's going to be interesting to see what's there and when. It's really funny because you talk you talk to the NPCs in here and they just say, Oh, every day here is great. I hope things never change. And it's very, very obvious that, well, <laughs> that's because this place isn't relevant to the plot yet. We're here early. That did allow me to mix a bunch of smoothies, which was fun. That's what most of the ingredients we got were for. It's making smoothies. Hmm. So I think we can get out of here now. But you can only get in here by climbing. There's no road to it or anything. Which means that if you have the will, you can come here immediately, but... It's not the most obvious route, and it's not really where quote-unquote supposed to go. Hmm. So there are more monsters here now. I wonder if that chest will respawn. It probably will have, which means more ingredients. So that shielded moblin guy is my current best echo. Current best echo I can actually use. Oh, come on. So these chests do respawn, which is nice. Thank you. Oh, another horn. I mean, another thing. It's locked. Allows me to take those guys out first. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on. I missed? Whatever. I did not miss. Here we go. Shield is a bit annoying to deal with. Yeah, lucky you. You're helping out, finally. Making yourself useful. So 
actually just hidden in the back is fine. But they... We need damage output. And it's... Oh, okay, so here we can get more seahorses. Okay. Another thing, too, so... I guess I could craft a couple more smoothie recipes. But I need to trash some of the old ones I've got in my inventory, because you can only have so much ones. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Hmm. Get rid of the weaker ones. This one is only okay. Get rid of the mixed smoothies. Then we can make a few more of those seahorses we got. Seahorse smoothie. P. He just says P. It's kind of funny. Got a good amount of milk from completing the stamp rally, actually. Well, completing the first five stamps, which are just little collectible stands that you find around and interact with. So, milk and a seahorse. That's. Got a milky rapid smoothie, and that makes you swim faster. This helpful blend is smooth and light with just a hint of river horse. Fun. That and a monster thing. This one should actually work because it's more of a potion than a smoothie anyway. So the more recipes you acquire, because there's actually a recipe book that you can craft straight from. The more and yep, it's a potion. A rapid potion. Drinking this bitter potion made with river horses will help you swim faster. Interesting. So any ingredients that we don't have right now? I don't think there are any ingredients we... Other than those river horses and those fangs. Don't really have access to it. We got more nectar, so nectar and butter. Okay. Let's see what that does. Pee. Pee. I hope he's not talking about what he puts in the smoothies. You got a sweet radiant smoothie, one of the sweetest smoothies. This one is also rich, creamy, and exquisite. Huh. Are there any new options? Probably not. They even mark down when they give you crap. That's fun. And... Does not seem like there are any new options here. Yeah. So some things you can mix with themselves, but... It's not true of everything. So we're out of... We were out of butter before, but... Let's see what happens if we try to make salt and butter. I feel like this could actually be good. We'll see. This is... Oh, yeah, it is. Got a salted radiant smoothie. This tasty beverage combines salty flavor and creamy texture in a pleasing hole. Huh. And we got too many drinks. So I could actually show you a bit of the recipe book, recipe book we've got going right now. Hmm. What am I willing to part with? Well, the crappy ones. Yeah. So we got our recipe book. Recipes is sweet smoothie, milky sweet, refreshing sweet, sweet refreshing. It's interesting to see the order they put them in. I guess they start with a single base, more or less, and then go to permutations. So all the radiant types seem to be in there. Hmm. Okay. So they're at least 66. I heard about something like that. But it... There's only so much you can do with just quote-unquote weeks. Emphasis on quote-unquote. We have five of those ores, which is not enough for an upgrade right now. Oh. Hmm. Got more of those mob ones. Hold on. Let's go and take something... Not really the truly intended path, but... Slow, a slightly more intended path. Oh, come on. Go ahead. Goodbye. 
Go for the approach. Takes it out rather well. So I also have an accessory equipped right now that gives me more... Mob drops, basically. Like these horns. And also the apples and other smoothie ingredients. It's nice. That's fair. But it... It feels like clout chasing... Something clout chasing motivated. As if it doesn't really look all that different. And you can't really replicate the internal changes. It's just sort of... Okay, cool. I guess. I don't know. I'm a hater. Hmm. Dr. Rock's in there. We already got one down. That's where the desert starts, but we are not going there right now. That would actually progress the storyline, and we don't want that. Hmm. Oh, and what is that man doing? No getting past that. No. It's the shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prancer that blocked it off? Oh? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. A blocked road. You encountered a man standing around in Southern Prairie. There's junk that's totally blocking its convenient shortcut. Well, not as not standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Still taking another route feels like admitting defeat. So, if we burn a couple of these... As well as move some of the rocks around. We can clear the path relatively easily. Come on. Let me just pull this. Drop that there and... Oh! Huh? Okay, now he notices. It's clear and with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. And it's just a red rupee. Okay. Ah, oh, cool breeze, a clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. Now it's all out of the way. You move the quarter that was blocking the southern prairie shortcut, the man was glad he could take his convenient route. Nice. Is that... Kakariko over there? No, it seems like some kind of ranch, actually. Well, yeah. Oh, and, well, there's a rift here. Huh. It's probably one swan in Castletown. Oh, well. I wonder if there are going to be any rifts we can enter into before the story progress. Hmm. You can even chop down the flowers. It's actually kind of mean. Okay, enemies. Hyrule Ranch, Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Ranch. So that's Kakariko then. Okay. Not touching the desert or Java waters right now. Couple of rifts just sitting around. Okay. Another pond full of Octoroks. Take you out. Well, I suppose maybe the best way to deal with Octorox might be other rocks. Actually, no, it's Piranhas. Got a couple of you boys and... The... You don't have good aim. Huh. Well, it... It's okay. Maybe. Let's get out of Luffy. Come on. Can't spin underwater actually cut. The weeds. That's funny. Not that again, I imagine, it would do me all that much good. Surface. And oh, well. The Zol gets in. The Zol gets in. So even though those are, these are cheap, they're from far on the later game area, do seem to be a bit more effective, especially for underwater stuff. And oh, there was a, an ore just sitting in there. Got a mic crystal, okay. Huh. That was worth it. Let's resurface. Oh, another cave. Wonder what'll be in here. Probably some mob when we've already got a strong level. Some need a strong level. 
It is pretty. It's very pretty. Ah, oh, climbing time. Oh well. That's... Maybe it's just the ruby. Maybe. Hmm. Let's get up. How far up are we gonna go? Oh, it goes up even farther. So, it's just a chest here. Okay. That's... Okay, just a purple rupee. Go ahead, drink the Zelda water. They'll let you. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So anytime you got a circle of grass like that, it's a surefire sign that there's going to be one of those might ores in there. Or at least there might be. Ha ha. Her mob went back up. Render. Oh, another puzzle. Easy enough. He's a hard up there. There's two right now. Should be simple enough to climb off. Yeah. I'd hope. Come on. Behind you. And chop you off. They are surprisingly durable. Mm -hmm. Pass those Octorocks. Enemies don't respawn all that quickly. I think it's something as in... A certain number of enemy deaths leads to... A sort of a queue of enemies that are dead. So the spider would die normally, but if we put a bed down... Not that way. Not that way. Oh, come on. Down this way, we can crawl over the bed. And... Bond ourselves to it, we'll climb up, get up top, and what? That's stupid. We weren't aimed right. Dumb. Let's actually try to center ourselves as much as we can. Should hopefully work. Yeah, okay, there we go. And there was a third piece of heart. Yeah, they're kind of finicky. Oh, oh! There's someone there. Oh, Wink, Wink, are you there? There are so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Up a wall. While walking through Southern Prairie, you saw a man stuck on a stone wall surrounded by monsters. Defeat them and save him. Simple enough. Now, these feel rather simple now that we've got this ridiculous echo. I still don't know what those monster stones are even going to be for. We have five, and a number of them have just been enemy drops. And nothing yet to do with, to do with them. So you're free. Oh well. Well, saving the day as always, the heroic huh? You're not weak. Sorry about that. That hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please, please forgive the confusion. My name is Verley, and I'm a resident of Southern Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Southern Prairie. I know all too well about getting carried away cutting grass. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make all the plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared, and well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here, you should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me, it's not much, but I hope you'll take it. And another red rupee, okay. Got 20 rupees, excellent. Hmm. I'll wink the person I'm mistaken for, he's a brave swordsman from Southern Village. He's been a light to all of us, but right now he's out fighting monsters while he's in a rift. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. You run into a swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic, and he pass him a message. His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes home. Huh. And, okay, that rupee's still there. Save Verly and acquaintance of Lynx. You can left a message for the swordsman with you and then return home to Southern Village. Cute. Guess that's all we can really get done right in here right now. Let's mark... These rifts, maybe? Sure. In case there's anything there when we... Patch up the area. Probably not. But still. Some stuff. Oh, yeah, and this is Rabbi Kakariko. This is where the flute boy was in. Went to the past. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up on those trees again, real quick, especially since stuff around here, too. 
That that guy Verly should actually be back here in theory. Maybe. Maybe. See if he's anything new to say. Maybe something in the shop. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Nothing in the shop. Nothing new in the shop, at least. And he's right here. Hello. Hey there, thanks again for saving me from that mob of monsters. If you ever run, run into Link during your travels, mind passing on a message. Tell him we're all eager to see him come back to home in Southern Village when he can. Okay. Nothing there. Let us... I wonder if I can burn this straw. No, we can't. Okay. Could go for the ranch, but... I think instead I will... Oh, an apple? Random apple? I think instead of that I will go to... The shop and try to craft a couple more potions and then... Go to the ranch in the lake next time, maybe? I really do want to see. Just how much will they let me do before I go to the desert and or the water area? So I'm running into a lot of NPCs who just say, oh, nothing's going on here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are there are a couple of Deku scrubs over here. Do not want to mark those. Various Deku scrubs in various locations. Mm -hmm. Some over here too, and of course in Deku Scrub City. Deku Scrub Prison, which presumably we can only go there if we're thrown in. So, <clears throat> let us return. I wonder if there's going to be a Dark World style twist where there's another map. It seems like the still world is kind of fulfilling that function. But, I don't know. It's interesting. Is there any more we can make? Anything new? Any potions? Unfortunate. Fortunate. New smoothie that will probably suck. That said, I wonder if this would make some kind of glow potion. I think that's a decent guess. Hmm, a glotion. A lotion. Smoothie and... Yep! It's a glow potion. Got a radiant potion. Drinking this rich, slightly bitter potion will have your body naturally eliminate dark places. It's just bitter, but this is bitter and rich because of the butter. Let's just get rid of that. Let's make another! Hmm... What mixed with what? What in the milk? I wonder that, what that would do with the milk. Stronger effects. Can't really make a milk potion though, so... Again, it would probably suck. And... Wasted milk! Yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of that crap. Okay. Any more things we can make with what we have? I, again, would not presume so. Hmm. So yeah, we're chilling. A couple more recipes and... We need... Nine more recipes for 20 more. So... Hello! I'm actually literally right about to hop off, but good to see you. Oh! Ouch. Good luck with that. Oh, shut up. All of this was marked publicly. You only have yourself to blame. But good luck with babysitting. So... No, I won't. <laughs> so I'm gonna park myself right by this teleport point by the ranch. The model does not have that capability. If you'd like to find another impromptu upgrade with the ability to lift the bangs up, be my guest. It's not a possibility right now. 
So, uh, I think she could tell that you were mouthing off to me. It's what you get. Well, either way, we will explore Hyrule Field and maybe a bit of Lake Halia tomorrow. Sounds like kid on kid violence. If you're willing to foot the bill. Frankly, I'm not all that interested in adding that function myself, but if there was popular demand and popular demand that would be paid off for me, that would be okay. Well? Well? Yeah, but... We're chilling. Actually, I want to... Spend a couple more minutes just to climb up on these trees. But I don't imagine there will be anything there. We'll see. Come up to the top. Latch on. Thank you, trees. Should be good. And yeah, as predicted, there is nothing up here. This tree is so plainly conspicuous, though. I wonder what I'm going to be able to use to actually take it down. But until that happens, clock out here. See you tomorrow. Mushrooms. It's gonna be something really dirty, right? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Because they kind of overlap like that, they stack. That's cute, actually. I like that. But in that case, I will be hopping off more Zelda tomorrow. Yes, we went through this about a twelfth of the map, I would say. Yeah. Thank you very much, and... Sayonara, Ragan.